Many employees have been working remotely since March and will continue to do so permanently, while other employers are reopening, but there are strict guidelines in place to do so. As a Charleston-based tech company, Fish Labs moved all employees to remote working mid-March, which VP of Talent and Training Susie Rubicki says will have a lasting impact. I do think that companies, both here locally and nationwide, need to be much more empathetic with your employees and evaluate if there are opportunities to have more flexibility and work remote as needed. Rubicki says employees will not start returning to the office until the end of summer, but there will be changes. We made sure that we got a thermometer on hand, we have face masks, we have gloves. We've really upped our ante on the cleaning in the office, so making sure that we're sanitizing much more regularly, hand sanitizer in all the conference rooms when we open them back up. For cleaning companies, procedures have looked differently since the start of COVID-19. Lauren Hoke, owner of Hummingbird Cleaning Company, says it's more than the products being used. Before our staff steps into the office, they're already wearing masks, they're already wearing gloves, they have extra gloves in their pockets, they are wearing and changing them frequently. Hoag says high touch surfaces like doorknobs, railings and elevators get the most attention. If you are returning to the work office, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency recommends you continue to social distance, which is staying six feet apart from others, regularly washing your hands and staying home if you are sick. Reporting in Charleston, Danielle Hensley, Count on Two.